over the years, Hasbro and Takara Tomy have been releasing a plentitude of burst Beyblades. At this point, we definitely have over, what, like 100 unique tops, all with their own individual abilities, and with so much diversity, there is bound to be tops that are more coveted than the rest. So today, I am going to count down the most popular Beyblades from every Burst series. Now this subject is incredibly subjective, so instead of creating the list myself, I ask you guys to vote for your favorite Beyblades from each gen, and in this video, I will be going over the results. First off, starting with the single layers, the original Burst Beyblades. Now this one was actually kind of close. In first place, we have Valkyrie Wing Excel with 1,363 votes. Second was Spriggan with 1,001 votes. And third was Excalibur with 962 votes. Now it makes sense why Valkyrie is the most popular Beyblade, it's the main character's Beyblade, it has a really awesome design, and it's one of the few competitive Valkyries. When it was first released, it was the top attack based layer in the game, at least until like Excalibur came along. It had really good teeth, really good contact points, and the Excel driver was probably the best driver until we got Extreme. I mean, to be fair, it didn't really have much competition. The only other two drivers I think there were that were like attack were Quake and Blow, but like that, that's besides the point. Overall, Valkyrie had a lot of presence in the manga and also had a really good Beyblade in real life to back it up. Now, I kind of want to talk a bit about the runner up Spriggan and Excalibur. I feel like Spriggan got second place just because of Shu's sheer popularity. I mean, like he's hot, so like. All his Beyblades are gonna rank pretty high. Uh, now onto Excalibur. Again, totally outclassed Valkyrie when it originally came out. It had like a better layer, a better driver, and disc. And honestly, its design was kind of fire as well. Like kind of literally, it was like a fire sword. Next, we have the dual layers. My favorite series. I just think the Beyblades look the best. They're like really sleek. Um, from now on, I think I'm going to count down the top three finishers. So in third place with exactly a thousand of the votes, we have Victory Valkyrie. Honestly, a fall from grace considering that the original Valkyrie got first place, but it's still pretty high. Its design is solid. Everyone likes Vault from the anime. I feel like the only reason it ranks so low is because the actual Beyblade in real life is kind of trash. So yeah. Next, in second place with 1,075 of the votes, barely beating Valkyrie, we have my favorite Beyblade ever, Storm Spriggan. Now, I'm gonna try to be as unbiased as possible. This Beyblade is heaven on earth. It is amazing. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's spectacular. It's flippant. It's red. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry. But in all seriousness, the design is really awesome. And the Unite driver creates really fun battles with its counterattacks. Also, again, it's owned by Flippin' Shu Kurenai, the most popular character in all of Burst. Uh, the only problem with it is, well, just like Victory Valkyrie, it's kind of terrible. Actually, it's worse than Victory Valkyrie. Burst against absolutely everything. So, Sadly, it's not going to be able to grab that number one spot. But in number one, we have the Beyblade that literally destroyed second place, Lost Longness, with 1,414 votes. I'm not surprised at all. Lost Longness was one of the hypest Beyblades to ever release. It was owned by the then undefeated number one blader in Japan, Louis Shirasaki. It was the first left spin Beyblade. It was the first Beyblade with metal on the layer. It was the first Beyblade in the anime to have a colored disc. And for Jake, it was the first flippin' dragon Beyblade. Not to mention the actual Beyblade was really good in real life. Also, I said it was the first dragon Beyblade, but I meant the first dragon Beyblade in Burst because I know I'm going to get a lot of comments talking about like the Dragoon or El Dragon or whatever. The first dragon Beyblade in Burst, although I guess why? Wyvern, if you count Wyvern as Dragon, that was, I'm, I'm going on a ramble. Um, anyway, this Beyblade had it all, and it makes sense why it's the most popular dual layer Beyblade. On to the God Layers. Basically everyone's favorite series, and for good reason. Every Beyblade got a unique gimmick in their layer, and the anime was just so hype. So in the number 3 spot, we have Nightmare Longness, with 538 votes. Barely beating God Valkyrie, who got 505 votes. Originally, I was surprised it ranked so low because Nightmare Longness is just such a unique Beyblade. It has such a unique layer that combines the disc and the layer together. And not only that, it's so good in real life. 
but then I looked at the first and second place and it kind of made sense. So in second place with 927 votes, we have the original Fafner. Back when stealing spin was basically exclusive to him, with an incredible ability combined with an incredibly cool character in the anime Free, being the number one blader in the world, of course his Beyblade Fafner would rank high in this list. And finally, the most popular god Beyblade is of course Spriggan Requiem with a whopping 1,848 votes. That's like more than a third of the votes, guys. I mean, like, this Beyblade had it all. And I, I know I said that about uh, Lost Longlands, but this Beyblade, like, seriously had it all. It had rubber on its layer that allowed it to steal spin like Fafner, the metal god chip like the metal on Longinus, a heavy disc, a driver that allowed it to change into three different modes, the dual rotation from Legend Spriggan, and the popularity of Shukur and I. This thing was a monster in the anime and an absolute monster monster in real life. It dominated real life tournaments even after the God series ended. If you ask anyone about like an overpowered Beyblade, Spriggan Requiem will probably be the first Beyblade they think of. So yeah, Spriggan Requiem is just an extremely popular Beyblade and by far the most popular God Beyblade. Alright, now it's time for Cho Z. This is where every Beyblade became longness with metal in their layer. In third place with 732 votes, we have Geist Fafner. This Beyblade is again owned by the once number one blader in the world, Free, and coupled with its amazing design, it managed to snag third place. The reason why it's not any higher is probably because in real life, this Beyblade is so bad. The layer is just so jagged for a stamina type, and the Absorb Driver just doesn't have any stamina at all, which is kind of ironic because again, Fafner is supposed to be a stamina type. Next in second place, we have Chosy Spriggan with 779 votes. Having the Chosy prefix, it's given burst stoppers. Mix that with Shu and Spriggan's popularity, it makes sense why it ranks so high. However, in real life, the wall frame does scrape a lot and holds the Beyblade back quite a bit. Now in first place, we have a returning champion, Chosy Valkyrie with 1042 votes. This is the first good Valkyrie we've had in quite a while, and when Valkyries are good, they tend to be like extremely popular. It has the same burst stoppers as Chosy Spriggan, an amazing design that delivers crazy hits, a disc featuring rubber, and an upgraded version of the original variable driver, Evolution. Yep, seems legit. Valkyrie finally regains the number one spot. Next, GT. I actually like the GT series, although the anime was kind of bad in my opinion. Oh my goodness, guys. Second and third place are literally one vote apart. So in third place, who lost by one measly vote, we have Master Diabolos with 637 votes. And in second place, we have Union Achilles with 638 votes. That's absolutely crazy. All right, well, I guess we'll talk about both of them. Master is just a really good Beyblade with an awesome gimmick that allows it to switch spin direction by flipping the layer. And Union Achilles is a really solid Beyblade with an insane amount of mode changes and features one of the best drivers in the game, Extend Plus. Both Beyblades also have really popular characters being Delta and Aiga respectively. Now in number one, this one was a blowout. We have Lord Spriggan with 1,578 votes, beating both Achilles and Diablos combined. Shu didn't even appear in the GT anime, but his Beyblade is just that popular. It's basically in the number one spot for the same reason Requiem was number one. It's just flippin' broken, guys. It's extremely good. It has rubber, metal, dual rotation, burst stoppers that don't even need to be activated, a heavy disc and blitz, a dash driver, and dimension dash to give it even more burst resistance that also is advertised to have infinite modes. This thing was crazy good, and coupled with Spriggan's reputation, it stole the number one spot easily. Now on to Sparking. Sparking was a lot more close than GT, and third place with 844 votes, we have Louis Beyblade Rage Longness. 
Now, Louis is a pretty popular character, but in Sparking, he lost like a majority of his battles. So I don't think it's because of the anime that makes Rage rank so high. No, Rage ranks so high because Rage Longness in real life is an absolute monster of a Beyblade. It is extremely heavy and it hits like a truck. It is by far the best Super King stop combo, maybe even like the best stop combo Takeru Tomi has ever released. Next, in second place with 885 votes, is World Spriggan. Sadly, World Spriggan isn't as good as Lord or Requiem were, but it's still a really solid Beyblade. Also, I just realized Spriggan has ranked top 2 in I think every single burst series, so that's absolutely crazy. Anyway, again, World Spriggan is a Spriggan, so it has a really nice design, and it's owned by an incredibly popular blader, Shu Kurinai. Now in the number one spot with 1,165 votes, we have Brave Valkyrie. Again, when a Valkyrie is good, they tend to be extremely popular. While they're not as consistent as Spurgeon, I think Valkyrie has won the most popular Beyblade in the most series. Anyway, Brave Valkyrie has rubber in the layer and a chassis coupled with the Evolution Dash Driver that adds even more burst resistance. It's just a really good Beyblade in real life, and in the anime, again, it's owned by Volta Oi. And Volta Oi is just so cool. He's the number one blader in the world. Well, not consistently, because he seems to lose to like the new main character every series, but he always manages to snag that number one spot by the next series. Anyway, with an awesome design, an awesome blader, and an awesome performance in real life, Brave Valkyrie is the most popular sparking Beyblade. Finally, we are on to the newest series, Beyblade Burst Dynamite Battle. Now, at the time of recording, there's only been five Beyblades that have been released. The new Spriggan is going to release in a few weeks, but since it's not out yet, we can't really gauge how popular it'll be. Since there are only five Beyblades, I'll just talk about the number one spot. In number one, we have another Valkyrie, this time Savior Valkyrie, with 1,905 votes. Honestly, I get it. I flip and love Saber Valkyrie too. There's like rubber on the layer, it has a spring-loaded chip similar to God Valkyrie, an awakening layer like Victory Valkyrie's driver, and the shot driver that acts similar to the reboot and ultimate reboot driver. This thing just has so many gimmicks and they're all so much fun. So yeah, I agree. I definitely think this Beyblade deserves the number one spot. So Savior Valkyrie is the most popular Dynamite Battle Beyblade, at least as of the recording of this video. Now that was the most popular Beyblade from every series. If you guys want to see more discussion videos, leave a like and I'll make another one. You know what, if this video gets like 10,000 likes, I'll do a video where I discuss the least popular Beyblade from every series. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.